Want to dress up your Alexa? Are you a big Star Wars fan? Well, this might be the guy for you. See you guys inside. Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today we're kind of doing a kickback to one of my earlier print jobs. And this is an R2-D2 Alexa holder. So this guy is built for the Alexa 2.0, but if you scale the model up to 125% and print him there, you'll be able to put the new generation Alexas in within him. But basically your Alexa sits right here in the top. It's got a great cable holder for it to come back out and you put your lid on. And as the blue light goes around, it will shine through and you'll have your R2-D2. I haven't gotten this guy fully painted. I got him in the primer, but I haven't painted him. But we'll hop over to Kira. We'll get the file sliced and ready to print. As you guys can see in front of you, there's the final product. But before we hop over there, please, if you enjoy the content on the channel, hit the subscribe button, join the crew as we print all kinds of different things. Now this is a decorative print, but it's also a useful print because we're hiding the Alexa in our living rooms or wherever we're doing. But this is just one print that you can do to do that. Um, if there are prints you'd like me to see attempt, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. If you're having problems getting your 3D printing going, leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed the, this video, hit that like button for me. It really does help us out and let us know we're doing the right thing. So let's hop over to the computer and get this guy printed. All right, guys, so here is the file that we did. This is for a second, third gen, which I'm doing. I did mine for a second gen. Mine is an older Echo Dot, but it's in my theater. It's up hidden away. And when I put it in this guy, it's just going to add some ambience to the bookshelf in the room. But um, F2, awesome file. Um, this one was not hard to print at all. Um, I'm going to pull the parts onto a CR10. This is easily printed on a uh, Ender 3. Um, so nothing real too difficult to do for this actual print. So let's get Cura open and let's get this print pulled over. So that's a different file, but we'll clear the build plate. So we've actually got this on a CR10. You know what, just for the fun of it, let's kick it down to the Ender 3. All right, Ender 3 build plate. And let's just start bringing the files over. Oop, I'm in preview mode. Let's get that in where we can actually see it. There's his leg. There's his foot. We'll get a main body on here. Uh, put it over there. Now for the, we're gonna just kind of reorganize the plate here a little bit. Now for the main body, what I did is I brought it on and I did the whole wonderful, oh no, this one's different than the one I, no, this is the one I did. So you can actually leave it just like that or you can roll it over either way you want to do, but less support if you do it this way, because this is solid. Uh, that's main body one, here's main body two. Now this part, I recommend rotating. Flip him over. And we'll get him flat there. And we'll zero him back to the bill plate. That way you, that flat surface is down towards the bottom, so we'll kind of kick him off over to the side here. We're gonna have to do a little bit of readjustment, but that's okay. We'll get all the parts on here. Uh, now there is, you can do the main body as one piece as well within this kit. So if you don't wanna do that, now if you do it as one piece, I do recommend flipping it over. You're gonna have infill in here, but you're just gonna have a cleaner looking print. I'm going to remove that for now. We may come back to that. And we'll get his other leg, which is going to go off to the side. His other foot. He's still got his head. So we got his feet on there. Let's kind of tuck them in a corner real quick. No. We'll adjust the settings here. I'm pretty sure it's acting funky because of the raft settings, probably. We'll scoot that over. That way we can pull that leg back on. And that little vent, whoa. <laughs> that little vent will get him tucked. Really? <laughs> uh, it's just the size of the object too. We'll tuck him up here in a corner. We'll pull the other leg on. Get that on here. 
So as you guys can see, you may have to do this with multiple prints. The CR10, you're probably not going to have to. You can probably do this as one solid print if you chose to. Uh, we got to get a center foot, which decided not to fit. Uh, come on. Oh, um, that's why. So we'll move him over. The center foot should fit on the plate just fine. And of course, there's the two little blue arms that are inside him. So we'll get two of those on there. Then there is a special piece that you have to print for the Alexa that goes in the center between here and there. That gives you your cord. The Alexa is held here between here and the head, and extra cord can be spooled down into the body. So, yeah, I'm going to kick this back up to the CR10 into one build plate. So, Ender 3, you're looking at a couple prints, but they're not bad prints. These are actually quite simple to do. Um, and when you see my video, if I remember correctly, I printed the body as a whole, but it's been a little while since I printed this guy. And I think I killed Kira. Oh, here we go. Kira came back. But that is not a CR10 build plate. There we go. So let's kind of reorganize and get everything on the build plate here. So the vents you want to print two. The arms you'll want to print two. Um, the feet are the feet. You need three. You've got each leg. got his head you want to watch your supports for those cables you have got the Alexa body then there's these pins that I talked about you'll need at least three of them this guy so one will go in the left arm, one will go in the right arm, and one will be used to hold the center foot on as well. So you need to print three of those for this model to work correctly. So just going through some of my settings, uh, initial layer heights, or layer height is 0.15, initial layer height is going to be 0.3, uh, wall thickness, I'm not doing a very thick wall. Um, infill, honestly with this just being a stationary thing and not being bounced around you can get away with 10 percent i'm using inland pla so actually my print temperature is a bit high i may actually do two i probably did this actually at 210 um travel retraction make sure you have that in z hop when retracted um, that way it avoid it doesn't smack into other parts retraction also make sure you're kind of set up a little bit higher towards that 6.57 to avoid stringing um, just that way you don't have that problem and you will want to generate some supports but you probably only need to do it about 80 percent um, because there's not a lot here that needs support r 2 t2's dome will need some support a lot of these other parts won't need a lot of support you'll need a little bit of support here but there's not a lot that needs support now the way i had this done and the way i did it i printed it on a raft not a very big one i just wanted to keep good plate adhesion so not a lot you have to do here Pretty straightforward. Basically get all your parts aligned on the plate and after doing the inner three, yeah, you're gonna have two prints. You're using the CR10. You can probably get it on here for one. I haven't reorganized it, but you can probably get away with doing everything in one print. Although that comes with a consequence. You have something to go wrong, you lose all the parts. So um, sometimes it, I know it's more tedious. It may just be faster to print one part at a time. But Honestly, Kira slicing this thing, this one's pretty straightforward and simple. So we're going to hop over to the time lapse. We got a special message first on this, but I will warn you guys, this is older material, so I do not have the Octolapse really cool uh, time lapses. I just have the older style. So kind of a blast back to the past on this one. Um, I do apologize. The Octolapse material will be coming back soon. So let's get ready to hop over to the time lapse. All right, and that's it slice. But before we hop over there, I just want to ask you guys for your help with the channel. I've opened up a Patreon account. The link is down in the description. If you'd like to help support the channel and keep this cool stuff coming along and help build the channel to be more and bigger, better printing things, please feel free to join us over on Patreon and help out. Um, there's four levels over there right now. A lot of cool stuff. And also on mastermind.com, I have launched a 3D printing course on getting started 3D printing. The course link is down in the description as well. Um, if you guys are curious about getting started 3D printing, the course is a one-time purchase fee, but I am constantly updating the course, adding new material, changing material, bringing stuff up to snuff, so it is a good investment for long term because um, it's going to have all kinds of material added over time. So if you guys are interested in that as well, please go over there and check that one out. 
Now, let's get to the time lapse. All right, there we go. So like I said, this scale right now in front of me, this is for an Alexa Gen 2, the, the puck, the Echo puck. But, um, you know, if you've got the newer generation, the Gen 3 or 4, you need to blow this up to about 125% of the actual volume to be able to fit your Alexa within the unit. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed the content in this video. Again, hit that subscribe button, join the crew, get, get that bell for further notifications. The new video is coming out. We put out two a week and Hit, leave us a comment down below if there's something you'd like to see or you have a question about 3D printing. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the next one.